guys welcome back to this Django tutorial series for beginners so in the last video we talked about admin panel we created our admin user interface so we can maintain our site and we also added our profile model database into our admin panel this model we added it into our admin panel so our admin panel looks just like this and I said in this video I'm going to show you guys how to add some data to your database using the admin panel so I said there are some things you need to know and basically what goes on when you add a database is that now we have this profile database and in this database it has three tables which are name age and bio now when we click on add profile that means we're adding a new row to the table let's give it a name let's say John let's say the age is 56 let's say I I'm cute now this will automatically add a row into the table when we click on save we automatically get a new row in the database table that's basically what's going on in when you add a new database to let's say when you add a new row to a database table it's the same thing as let's say you open your PG admin and then you add or edit any database table or any information in your database basically that's what the admin interface is doing you can basically maintain your site from this admin interface if you come to home as I explained in last video you can see a user and then under this user as we all know this user is also a database and these are the tables this is the table sorry and then we can add a new user without any authentication let's say without any login form from our admin interface we can add a new user we can specify the ad we can specify the username let's just give it anything and then let's give it a password and then another password now what we're doing is when we click on save we added a new table but what did say it said password is too short as you see it's just like a professional login or sign up page but you can do this from the admin and notes a normal user can't have access to your admin in user interface your admin page because it's meant for the developer the owner of the site if any user or hacker crack into this admin it's dangerous because they can have access to all your data that's the disclaimer in the admin interface that's why when you create a super user as we did in the last video you need to create a, a very strong and unique username and password some people just go with admin as username that's very dangerous please don't try that because when you host this online and you have integrated the admin interface anybody with the super user details can just easily crack into your admin page and then access your data so basically that's how to add let's say new database let's add another one let's say team let's say it's 19 let's say i love to code now we have two rows now in the next video i'll show you how to fetch this database table like let's say let's head over to our sites what i'm going to do in the next video is what in this place all everything in the whole row is going to display here automatically that means once we add a new database here if we come here and refresh it's going to show here that we added a new database all the data is going to show here that's how to fetch and look through a database we're going to talk about that in the next video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you understood something if you did please don't forget to smash the like button and please subscribe and turn on the post notification button so you get notified when i get when i drop new videos thank you for watching bye for now